We are proud to present Northeastern University's Midpoint Progress in this year's NASA Moon to Mars Ice and Prospecting Challenge. We have worked through the pandemic to commence the construction and testing of our novel robotic system. Welcome to Parsec. Our robust frame can interface with the simulated Martian and lunar subsurface test station within its full tolerance range. Its lightweight 8020 extrusion allows for easy modularity. Parsec's central innovation, the three-tool rotary carousel, has been fully modeled, manufactured, assembled, and tested. Our optimized custom-machined quarter-inch aluminum panels are 20% lighter than proposed. Stability has been added via an upper turntable. A 24-point redundant braking system has been incorporated to lock the rotation while operating. A lower planetary motor rotates the carousel without twist while providing encoder feedback. Its gearing can be easily altered to compensate for increased mass. The carbide steel rotary percussive drilling system can rapidly bore through the toughest layers of overburden encountered in competition. Its precision ball screw allows for a steady descent and an integrated load cell and hall effect sensor enable closed loop control. Vibrations were encountered during initial testing, which were mitigated by a rail stabilizer, and rubber dampeners will be added for further vibration reduction. During our full test, a clean bore was successfully carved through five layers of overburden at a rate of 40 millimeters per minute. This equates to just 12 and a half minutes to reach the ice layer. The melting and extraction tool has been fully designed, manufactured, assembled, and mounted, and has undergone preliminary testing. The probe is composed of machined aluminum and printed carbon composite nylon. The probe was successfully articulated and rotated using stepper motors, and its temperature was controlled by a PID loop. Here, you can see a one heater test into a solid block of ice, where we extracted 2.4 liters of water in 65 minutes at a probe temperature of 120 degrees. We will be working on lateral stability, autonomy, and maximum temperature of the probe going forward. Assembly and testing of the filtration system Plecos has begun. In a five minute test of the RO stage, 134 milliliters of permeate was collected, corresponding to a filtration rate of 26.8 milliliters per minute. To control Parsec, we have developed a frost network that interfaces with a ground station laptop via ethernet. The core network has been fully implemented, allowing for data logging and control during our initial testing. To aid the software, we have also assembled multiple custom STM32-based microcontroller boards that provide the physical connection between the ROS network and Parsex hardware. Our next steps in control are to finish the implementation of the firmware layer and continue development of specialized microcontrollers for each subsystem. We have fully implemented and tested three out of five of our digital core models and are on track to finish the others soon. From the drilling test data we have so far, our models have an average of 76% accuracy, with neural nets having our high of 88% accuracy. Thank you for your interest in Parsec's current development. We are proud of the progress we have made and confident we will be able to complete our system for the final competition.